Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Think about it Thursday. What have I been thinking about? Quite a bit about 12 gauge firearms. Short barrel 12 gauge firearms. This is a Mossberg 590S shockwave pump action 12 gauge firearm. Holds five plus one. It will also accept mini shells, but when you fire this, you hold it like this, all right? It's got a shorter barrel, bird's head style grip, five plus one, mini shells offer a lot more. I have also been thinking about the V3 TAC-13 made by Remington. This is essentially the same style, but it's semi-auto with the Versamax system. It also has a hand strap there, but you hold it like this as you fire it. Good for self-defense? Absolutely. It's also a 5 plus 1, 2 and 3 quarter. Both will feed 3 inch magnum load. So what, what is there to think about? Well, I have had many people tell me that if you're going to have those, why not just have a full size shotgun with a stock? Well, I have several with a stock. And that is the difference right there, because if you're going to hold the, the firearm like this, why not just stabilize it a little bit better with the stock? And in this position here, you have so much more control of the shotgun compared to the 12 gauge firearm. This is a Remington 570 Tactical, all right? Nice shotgun, it's also pump action. You're getting the same action with more stability which means it'll jump around less because of the stock. So the value of the 12 gauge firearm versus the value of a full shotgun is worth thinking about because there's not a great price difference at all. And if you look at some of the shotguns out there, they are 200 to $300 as where these are typically over $500 for the, the, well, the Shockwave 590S. The original Shockwave is much less, but this has the adaptability of mini shells. But they also make the full-size shotgun that offers the same capabilities. So think about it Thursday. Are you better off considering home defense with a 12-gauge firearm that's very short and easier to maneuver around? Or uh, an advantage there would be for a bug out situation where size matters, weight matters, or are you better off with a stock full size shotgun that will offer the stability, the ease of shooting and allowing that shoulder to absorb the recoil. I've been thinking about this, hmm. And it's a tough decision. I want to get your thoughts. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate the thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.